Welcome, welcome to Code Tover. I don't know what day this is, but I just did a stream about CloudHub 2.0 with Anurag Sharma, and I thought this was a very nice thing to show you um, really quick. So if you want to kind of get started with CloudHub 2.0, like just try it out and see how it looks like. But you don't have an application or you don't know what to do or whatever, you can just use one of the examples from Exchange and I'm going to show you why. How? I'm going to show you how. So uh, go to anypoint.mulesub.com and create your trial account if you don't have one or sign in to your account if you already have one. Um, go to Runtime Manager from here. Just select Runtime Manager right here and it will take you here. So now I don't have any applications and I'm just going to click Deploy Application. And one thing that I noticed that was different from Cloud Hub, like the regular Cloud Hub, for example, if I go back to Cloud Hub, um, if I select a random name, it's going to tell me that the application name is not available because a different thing that happened in Cloud Hub is that all of the application names have to be unique throughout all Cloud Hub, which is a bummer because like you can't use something that already exists. Um, but when you select Cloud Hub 2.0, it doesn't really care about it. So you can just put any name that you want. It doesn't have to be unique because it will add a unique thing like to your URL. So it doesn't have to be unique. So I'm just going to add hello world. Um, and then here on your application file, you can either upload your own jar file. If you already have a mule application, you can do this or from like any point studio, you can simply right click on your main project and select uh, like any point platform deploy to cloud hub or something like that. Um, it will basically open this screen for you from any point studio. And you will be able to just select all of the other things and your jar will be already here. Or you can also do it using Maven, I believe. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you can do that too. So in my case, I'm going to select import file from exchange because that's just easier to do. Um, and then here you can select example. And this applies to anything that you want to try. If you don't have an application to deploy and you just want to try it, this also applies for like, I don't know, um, runtime fabric or stuff like that. You can select example and then search for hello world. And you will see this hello world application from Mulesoft. You can also view this thing in exchange so you can see exactly what it is. And it's just that regular flow with a logger and a set payload. Uh, the listener will be available on the path hello world and uh, the port is 8081. So yeah, you select the hello world one, this one. Uh, you can leave the version as is and select. So now that you're here again, um, oh, also something that I discovered today with Anurag is that uh, the region will always be US East apparently. Uh, because you're using a shared space and you're using a trial account, which is important. But if we are, if you have an enterprise account, I'm sure like you can select your own region. This is just because this is a trial account. Then you can select the runtime. I'm just going to leave the default one, which is the last one. You can add your replica size, which I was checking. Oh, I closed it. Cloud Hub to uh mule docs i guess um overview i was just i just had that open like a few moments ago i don't know why i closed it but anyway uh features grading private no deploying deploying apps here deploying apps to cloud hub and then to shared spaces um yes 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 and here, where is it? I just saw it. I had just seen the replica 
stuff. Where in the world was it? Uh, it was just here, the explanation of all of the replica stuff. Oh my god, how did I lose that? Okay, Cloud Hub 2.0 um, replica. Ooh, what? Project Cloud Hub 2.0. Oh. Overview, operating system, patch updates, archi architecture. Um, no, that's not what I was looking for. Or is it? Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> okay, this is what I was looking for. I will put this link in the description. So basically here, the replica size, um, what does it mean? Well, the replicas are dedicated instances of meal runtime, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have the following characteristics, characteristics, capacity, isolation, manageability, and locality. I'm talking way too fast, I'm sorry. Um, these are the V core sizes and these are the memory stuff that it will give you. And there are a lot, bunch of explanations on how the replicas work. So I'm going to leave this there in the description of the video so you can take a look by yourself. In my case, I'm just going to select uh, the minimum V cores and just one replica. It did say something about the high availability. You have to have at least two replicas, but I'm just going to leave one. Um, and maintains availability by incremental. Yeah, sure. Let's just select. Let's just leave all the all the regular stuff. You can also add last mile security for your ingress if you want. Properties and logging. Enable logging. Cool. So yeah, deploy application. And now the second thing that I noticed um, that was cool about this new Cloud Hub is that it will not take long to, to deploy. Like if I select the regular Cloud Hub, um, test uh, Martinez, and then import file from Exchange, example, hello world. Yes, yes, um, all the same. Yeah, all the same deploy application. So it will take way longer for the regular Cloud Hub oops, application to deploy. And the Cloud Hub 2.0 application does not take that long because this Cloud Hub um, application, it's basically creating a whole new EC2 instance. Uh, so that, that takes a lot of time. But the Hello World one that I'm creating in Cloud Hub 2.0 is actually just creating a container. So it's not creating a whole virtual machine and a whole EC2 instance. It's just creating a replica or a, a, con a container, right, to run this. So that's the main difference. Oh, oh, there you go. And there you go, it's running. So now if I go to the application, I will be able to see the public endpoint. I can see the logs, I believe. Yeah, I can see the logs. All good. So dashboard, oh, URL. So if I go to the URL right here, um, and then I just have to, let me make this bigger. Ah, there. And I just have to add slash, hello world which is what it said in the exchange documentation so slash hello world run this and i receive the hello world oh you cannot see there i receive the hello world payload back so this means that this is working i can also do a curl i guess um let me open a terminal so you can see it in curl if it's better for you so oops curl and then i put the whole thing with the slash hello world notice that this w is capital so 
make sure you do that then run and i receive the hello world back so it is working properly and then let's check if my other application now is started or not it's been a long time already right it's been like two minutes yeah it's up so how long did it take to get up actually does it tell me that diagnostics thread no it doesn't tell me but anyway um it does take a longer time to create a regular application it doesn't take that long to create a cloud hub 2.0 application and also something that anurag mentioned in her stream was that the regular cloud hub has like a hundred megabytes of logs and the cloud hub 2.0 has like 200 megabytes of logs which is the double but i will also leave uh i guess features yeah here you can compare where the differences between cloud hub 2.0 cloud hub 1.0 and runtime fabric so you can see what are the differences of the deployments and where exactly you prefer to deploy all of this stuff and the thing that I'm most excited about Cloud Hub 2.0 is that eventually it will let you um, update Flex Gateway stuff. So instead of having to do Flex Gateway in your like local or in your server or in Amazon or stuff like that, uh, you will be able to do your containers from here directly from Cloud Hub 2.0. So you just have to go here, deploy application, select a Flex Gateway instance, and you will be able to automatically use it from any point platform without having to get out of it ever so i think that's super super useful and i'm really looking forward to that um and i guess that's it <laughs> i hope you like this video i hope this is helpful for you i took more than 10 minutes i'm sorry but it was worth it because cloud hub 2.0 is a very big deal and it's a huge change from having EC2 instances to having containers. It's very, a great deal. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.